Welcome back to the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers there, everybody. So, uh, even though in the last part, Rocky and Aisha and Adam and all them said that they were going to recall what happened, like, when they first joined, this is actually not anywhere near that timeline. This is the beginning of the second arc of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers show. Basically, this is when Lord Zed shows up, who is a uh, fucking intimidating as all hell villain, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, he shows up, obliterates the fuck out of the Megazords. The Green Ranger, he's gone. We don't get to play as him in this game, unfortunately. His power's been gone and replaced with the White Ranger. It sucks, because I like the Green Ranger better. But what is kick-ass about this right here in this game is that we get to choose between my three favorite Mighty Morphin Power Rangers characters now. So we're going to choose my third favorite, Zack, the Black Ranger. In this game, he is incredibly fun. Why? Because he has a motherfucking cannon. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, bitches. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, he has a fucking cannon. It is all kinds of kick-ass. I love using the cannon. It does the same amount of damage as all the other charge-up attacks, but, oh, it's so much fun. So much fucking fun. <laughs> I also love his uh, ending combo move and his dash attack. And that's the big old axe swing he does. I love that. The Black Ranger is my third favorite to play in this game, and, he's, and Zack is my third favorite character on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He's this dancer, hipster, 90s kind of guy, I guess. But yeah, he's one of the more entertaining characters, in my opinion. My favorite character as a child was Jason, the Red Ranger. After re-watching the show in my 20s, though, uh, Trini the Yellow Ranger is actually my favorite. I don't know why, I enjoyed her character more than anyone else's. Jason's number two, Zack is number three, Billy's number four, Kimberly's number five, and honestly, I don't really like Tommy at all. <laughs> and he, holy shit, it's a boss! A really fucking weak boss. God, I kicked this thing's ass so bad. <laughs> Again, the cannon is so much fun to use. Oh, get back here, you fucking weenie. Uh, the enemies we're fighting are the putties, and they're these, like... Rita Repulsa, the villain of the first arc, her putties were made out of clay. I don't remember what Lord Zeds are made out of. All I know is that they're supposed to be tougher, but they have a fuck you button <laughs> on their chest. And when you hit that button, they just kind of shatter. Oh, this barrel's fucking kick-ass, as you guys already saw. The barrels in this stage are so fucking fun. <laughs> to quote my favorite LP -er ever, uh, eat barrel, bitch. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, I'm saying that. I'm saying bitch way too much. I'm having so much fun with this game. <laughs> Again, this game's nothing amazing, but oh, it is just so much fun. <laughs> uh, as you guys saw in the in part one, it is actually a two-player game. It, you can have a fun co-op going on. So I'd recommend that. Uh, one big problem with the cannon and with the White Ranger's uh, charge up, and honestly, even the Pink Ranger charge up is that it's so fucking hard to hit things with it. See, look at that. How the hell did I miss that? Alright, let's try again. Oh, that time I hit. Thank God. <laughs> again, though, it, it's really hard to hit things with the ranged charge ups. There's only one character who is very easy to hit things with their ranged attack. So, you know, that, there is that con, but still, come on, it's a fucking cannon. That is so much fun to use. I do think it's pretty shitty that uh, only two characters don't... Like, all the characters except for two have ranged charge-up attacks, but those two, they're just kind of... They're kind of fucked. Although one of them, their charged-up attack is still incredibly useful. And then the other one, uh, his is pretty shitty in my opinion. Oh, I love that axe swing too. Again, the Black Ranger is super fun to play as. There's not really a whole lot of difference between the Rangers other than their charge-up attacks. The rest is pretty much cosmetic. You're pretty much just going to be playing as your favorite character. Uh, this barrel is pretty crappy. Like, it, it only shows up for this, these bosses. Well, this 
triple team boss. Holy fuck. <laughs> this might give you some trouble if you're playing alone like I am, just because it's three on one. It's not that bad, though. <laughs> Again, you have so much control over the Power Rangers in this game, over your character, that it's really easy to kick ass, which I love that. Not a lot of beat-em-ups that I've played you have this kind of superb control over. Uh, I've been recently playing a game that's not really new, but that is on PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. It's also a beat-em-up based off of one of my favorite book series ever, and that is Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. You have a shitload of control over your characters in that game as well, and I love that. Uh, a really good move that I actually haven't been talking about a whole lot is the grab and throw moves that you can do. Basically, you just run it up into an enemy, you grab them, and then you throw them. That actually does a shitload of damage, and it's one of the best moves you can do in this game. <laughs> Again, I love the cannon. I will finish those pesky Power Rangers off! Grow! 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 I'm so sorry. Basically, though, Lord Zed throws a fucking grenade at his monsters, and it makes them huge somehow. So, we're gonna have to get into our fucking Megazords. Or our Thunder Zords. We're gonna take this boss on with the White Tiger Zord. Why? Well, I wanna show off the Tiger Zord. It's a pretty kick-ass Zord. I like it a lot. But there's another reason. And that's actually something I haven't talked about yet. All the songs in this game are 16-bit renditions of actual songs that are used in the movie and the show. This is the White Rangers theme being playing right now in 16-bit. Uh, 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 uh. White Ranger Tiger Power. White Ranger Tiger Power. White Ranger Tiger Power. White Ranger Tiger Power. That's all I know of it. <laughs> I love the White Ranger theme song, even though I don't like Tommy or the White Ranger all that much. I love the Zord, and I love the theme song. But yeah, all the music in this game is are like 16-bit renditions of the actual songs that are used in the show, and I love that. <laughs> so, the White Tiger Zord, it's not all that different from the Falcon Zord. Well, kinda. <laughs> it still has the dash attack, which is excellent, but it's not as good as the Falcon Zords, because it doesn't fly straight through the enemy, and it's harder to hit things with. It's charge up as fucking shit. It never fucking hits anything. It's basically that energy ball you saw. You saw, rather. <laughs> and uh, its punching combo, it's a little harder to hit than with the Thunder Zord. The Thunder Zord, I think, is a far better uh, Zord to pick for this, but the Tiger Zord's still plenty kick-ass. I love it. And yeah, that was that. These, these guys aren't anywhere near as tough as they were previously, just because you can block and shit now. Any of the ladies and gentlemen, this was part three. Stay tuned for part four, where we see more of how Rocky, Aisha, and Adam were recruited into the Power Rangers. Ranger Tiger Power White Ranger Tiger